A weak hip flexor gait pattern without compensation would look like this. Because the hip can't achieve normal flexion range of motion, the foot on that side would drag, as demonstrated here. One way to overcome this with compensation is if the trunk extends during early swing and then you get passive tension of the anterior hip soft tissues to provide elastic hip flexion force. Another thing you could do is externally rotate the hip that has the weak hip flexors. This is helpful because now you can use your adductors to flex the hip instead of using your hip flexors to flex the hip. For this last compensation, you can thrust your pelvis forward at the initiation of swing and this is helpful for the same reason why the trunk extends during early swing is because then you get this buildup of momentum and passive tension of the anterior hip soft tissues and it provides an elastic hip flexion force.